Come on in. So I think it's closed right now, but right here is the um, the main dining room, lunch room, breakfast room, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's kind of dark right now, but you can see in the back, it's filled with Gatorades. There's a, um, smoothie, machine. a smoothie machine. Here's the main grilling station. They'll have fruits and salads over there. And uh, yeah, right here, we'll have a lot of meals. It's pre-made that you can pick. And um, my guys will just sit here, eat, talk, hang out, kick it, you know. Just another place that you can get your mind off football for a little bit, you know. Cameron has a question. What question do you have? Do you have to pay for your food? <laughs> uh, no, you don't have to pay for your food. I think back in the day, people told me that they didn't have any uh, soft drinks. Now, again, as athletes, we really, <clears throat> we really shouldn't be drinking like soda and things like that, but some of the older, older guys when I first got here told me back in the days you, they had like vending machines and you have to pay for like sodas or whatnot. But I think now they have a contract or something, but there's free sodas. But no, we don't pay for our meals. They do, they do a good job of taking care of us. And I think we have one nutrition nutritionist on staff. So um, they'll make customized meal, customized meal programs for you and other things. So they do a good job. you a pass and we want to see your best touchdown celebration you gotta well, hold on hold on hold on you gotta catch it first you gotta score and then we have to see your best touchdown celebration because i don't know if you know they changed the rules so me and dre need some we need some inspiration because next year we plan on getting a few picks or something like that running it back and then we're gonna need a celebration because we're not used to going in there you know what i mean so whatever y'all do we gonna we might use that you know what i'm saying we taking notes okay all right, hope y'all been practicing. If you juke me too hard and I get hurt, I don't think they'll let you come back again. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. Uh oh, here we go. Yeah, one on one of the hope. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Okay, second down, second down. Oh, 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 third down. Third down. third down, hey, it's third and three. It's third and three. Go. Which way you coming? Run, run, run. Uh, 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 oh, no. Touchdown. Touchdown, let's see a celebration. Oh, oh, hit the dab on him, okay. Okay. You see that dab, he said, oh. I like that. Up high, good job, good job, good job. Oh. There it is, there it is, right here. Good job, oh, I like that, job. man, there you go. Uh-oh, oh. good job, oh, man. man. Um, this is the mail room. A lot of people send fan letters. Uh, we try to do a decent job of, you know, looking at it and responding and writing back or whatnot or signing autographs and sending it back. But when people send fan mail, this is where it usually uh, turns up. I just cleared mine yesterday. So. Where's mine? Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, where is mine? I can't even find mine right now, actually. Here's <laughs> mine. That's Dre's. Oh, yeah, I'm down. Oops. Sometimes my bills come here too, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go upstairs into the, the coaches area, show y'all what goes down. It's Paul, it's the D coordinator right here. What's going on, man? What's going on? Tell me your name. Fired up. What's your name? We don't need any dolphins. <laughs> no, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> no, what's your name? Cameron. 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 Yeah, this Welcome. Where, Welcome. Yeah, this is where all the magic goes down. He puts the game this plan is, in. This is the dungeon in here where all the, the X's and O's goes on. Yep. You guys take a look at it. Yeah, you guys have to win games. Can y'all tell, can, can tell what teams those are? Can y'all tell what two teams those are? Oh, Cowboys and Steelers. 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. I like it. Okay. okay. That's right. Yeah. You said booty fillers? <laughs> My man, I like it. But yeah. How you guys? We gotta leave because he's gotta work so hard to make sure we good. Take care of y'all. Appreciate it, Father. Have a good day, guys. Boo, that's right. Nah, this is the video room right here. This is where they break down all the practice film, game films. I think y'all have access to all of the 31 teams, right? Or, yeah, so, so any team that you ever watch, they can watch it from here and they can break down the film and get it to us on our iPads. Uh, do they have any iPads here? Yeah, that's Andy Dalton. Yeah, right there. Take a look. I like this. Oh. Any, you wanna put it on real quick? Anyways, you can see our, you, can, you, you ever been in our practice? Oh no, you gotta put this on, really. Okay. I put You've never practiced against NFL players, right? But now if you put this on, you're in our practice. Take uh -huh. take your hat off right quick. Let's see. You good? Wow. Team meeting room. Uh, no one speaks up here. The only person who speaks up here is uh, the, the owner. Uh, right before training camp, he'll give us a 15-minute talk which is about the history of the team. Marvin Lewis usually talks to the team from this spot right here. And the way the team meeting room is designed, once you sit in the seat, whenever you get here as a rookie or as a signed guy or as a vet, you usually sit there for the rest of your stay here. So I sit right here. That's just where I sat my, since my rookie year. AJ sits there. And Bontez sits here. Um, yeah, I don't really know what's behind me just because I'm in the front row, but yeah. Yeah, Dre sits right there. You know. Andy. 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 You want, yeah, you want to sit, sit, sit in Andy's seat. This is the news conference room. Uh, usually you'll see Andy, Marvin, and those important guys in here. I'll never be in here. You know, <laughs> but it's really important guys in the building. But here's a news conference room. It'll be filled with media guys right here, and they'll ask you questions. Um, you usually like it here after a big win. You probably don't like it as much after a tough loss. But it comes with the job. It's part of our uh, profession, and uh, people filled a lot of questions here. So, hey, tell us about the touchdown out there. How did it make you feel? Awesome. 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 Tell us what was going through your head out there. Hmm. Trying to pass. Trying to make the pass. Trying to make the pass. Okay, okay. And you, how about you? <laughs> On second down when you slipped, what was going through your head? Did you just lose your footing? Sad. Sad. <laughs> now tell us about the touchdown. You came back on third down and scored. That was a real big um, game-changing play for your team. Tell us how you felt. Sad? <laughs> you were sad after scoring the touchdown? How'd you feel? Happy. Happy. Tell us about your celebration dance. Where'd you get it from? Who'd you learn it from? Who'd you, who'd you learn that from? No one. No one? Oh, you. Cam Newton. Cam Newton? He taught you that? That's a question to say, no comment. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Look at him. Storms out. <laughs> At. I work out to be on that board right yeah. here. Usually on that whiteboard right there, they'll have the, the work I'll be written down. And so we'll come here and there'll be a coach at each station. So we'll come this way and we'll show you some of the equipment, but not all of the equipment. As, as you can see, there's a lot. It is. 45 pounds. So right here, we have the bench. I know y'all know what that is. I give up a player or something. This is the guy that you're going to see on TV screen getting on this. So. Yeah. I think I've seen you before. Damn, that means we done gave up a play. So yep, we don't that means, that means we done gave up a play. When you don't see him, that means we're doing a great job. Right. So the less you see of him, the better we're doing. So, uh, he tries to hide from me. So <laughs> we're going to fix that issue. He's going to come right over and be right next to me. <laughs> After practicing a lot, lifting weights a lot, you get real sore. You know, you get tired, your body just aches. So they'll come here, they'll turn this on, and they'll just massage this. 
massages. It's massages. All right, let me show you real quick. You ready? Let me show you. So you go start with two feet here, and go, when I say one to one, and when someone says go, you just go back and forth one to one for 20 seconds. We won't go 20 seconds, we'll go 10. So start at one, start at one, and then go. During training camp, I'm telling you, this room will be completely filled within five minutes. Because training camp, we're here from about 6.30 a.m. to 9 o'clock at night. So. Yeah, one of my favorite guys. Look at him, my favorite guy. I know, I need some socks. When I be looking laced up, that's because of my man right here. All, this, all the equipment, whatever you need, we got it. He got it. That's the plug right there, honestly. He's the plug. Right here is all the helmets. Let me see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. That's all access type stuff. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All access. Every helmet that you need is back here. They'll fit you for it. I don't think this one, it's not my helmet. This won't fit me though, but yeah, this is where we they, have, they store all the helmets. The uh, the locker room, all the the cool guys will be in here. You got your man Dunlap, check that out. Gino, y'all know about those pro bowlers right there. Keep on coming. You got my man Wallace Gilberry, Pat been here. That's the guy. Come on down here and see some offensive guys. We get we got Jake Fisher. Y'all watch out for him. We got Sed Cedric. Y'all watch out for him as well. And y'all already know about Clint Bowling and Andre Smith. Oh, I'd be remiss if I didn't show you Andy's locker. We gotta go to Andy, what am I doing? What am I doing? The man, the myth, the redhead legend, Andy Dalton. This is where all his magic goes down. Notice, notice he has the best spot in the locker room because he has an outlet. No other spot has an outlet, so. You can charge his phone and things like that 24 seven, but yeah. We got Tyler Boyd's locker. I don't know why he has money here. Like this is not middle school, but um, yeah, I guess it's his birthday and guys gave him money to thank a guy in the NFL and they give him $5, you know. Well, yeah, I got LaFell, you got Edgy McCarron, Tyler Croft, you know those guys. I know y'all know this guy. I don't, he doesn't need to be introduced, that's Tyler Eifer. Who's this guy? Who's, who's 18? Hey, who's 18? AJ McGreen. Oh, AJ Green. Yeah, my bad. AJ, AJ Dream? AJ Dream. AJ Dream. <laughs> man, Gio Hill, y'all know about them. The young kid coming up. Cody Core, y'all watch out for him. Y'all man, Trey Carson from TX. Watch out for him as well. All these guys here, Erickson, y'all know about him. Got Darquez, 2-1. I don't know who that guy is. 2-7, 3-1, 3-6. All my DB guys. Um, in there, that's the training room. Y'all can't see that, you know what I mean? But that's where we get healthy at. If you if you hurt something, they put you through rehabs in there. They got the uh, the cold tub, the hot tub. Will Jackson, the young fella. You got my man, Fedge, White Chocolate, Josh Shaw, y'all know about him. Y'all seen Tony already. Mike Johnson, Vigil. I just look around, all the guys. The monster. The monster himself. Y'all see the C in his locker, that's Cap right there. That's Vontez. Five. Five boy. Gonna play a big role for us this year. Vinny Ray, most suspected person in the locker room. You know what he stands for. All these guys, y'all know about them. And we got our specialists here. Hubert, Clark Harris. Been here for many years, great leaders and things like that. In, in season, they wait you here every uh, All right. Friday. Yeah, we got weigh-ins on Fridays. For every pound, 
you over, you just like five hundred dollars. So if you overweight, so say they tell me they want me coming at 220, 224, I ain't gonna let y'all see this right now. Uh, I got I got things on with that one. I ain't really this heavy, but for every pound you over, they they find you five hundred dollars. So it's very important to be at weight just because they feel like at a certain weight that's when you're most prepared. So you come back this way. Last thing I'll show y'all. <clears throat> It's our bathroom. During game days, they'll be everybody in the mirror trying to see how fresh they are. I don't really look in the mirror because I already know I'm fresh, so you know what it is. And uh, we have the sauna right here. The guys will usually come in here. Yeah, a lot of things get talked about in here, but it's the sauna. The guys will come here, cool out, break a sweat, shed some pounds. I might be in this thing afterwards. I need to shed about one or two pounds.